Hey everybody, Cody Meyer here, Tackle Warehouse Pro, and we're out in the water today. I want to share some tips with you about fishing early winter. You know, when I think about early winter time fishing, it's one of the best times of the year to fish. You know why? There is no more wakeboarders out there, skiers out there. You have the lake to yourself, and it's you know, you could have just phenomenal days. It's one of the best times to catch a really, really big fish, whether you're fishing for largemouth, uh, smallmouth, or big giant spotted bass. You know, three things I love to do, three must haves for me fishing early winter, um, I wanna share with you guys. The first one's gotta be a big crankbait. You know, I love the Strike King 10 XD. And why I love this big crankbait, you know, when you think about winter time, these fish are, they're, they're not gonna have to eat a bunch throughout the day. You know, they're looking for bigger meals. Um, they might eat one or two times a day where in the fall, they're really feeding up for that winter. You know, the water temps are gonna be a lot cooler now. Depends where you're at in the country. But I mean, I've seen from, you know, mid forties up to maybe in Florida where you have 70 degree water. But I'm really targeting those deeper fish with the big crankbait that are looking for one or two big meals. You know, like I said, this is a great time to catch some really, really big fish. You know, as far as this 10XD, you know, like I say, this is this is a great bait for me uh, to fish really, really deep. You can, you know, effectively fish in that strike zone a lot better with this 10XD. Most of the time in the early winter, I'm looking for, you know, fish in that 15 to 40 foot range, you know, and this is a bait that's gonna dive down to around 25 feet, uh, covers a lot of water, but more importantly, has great action. What I target in early winter, you know, when fish are in their fall time pattern, they're really shallow. Um, into the winter time, they move back out on those long points, on short points, but mostly the main lake. That's what I'm looking for. You know, main lake points, where they're gonna spend their whole winter there, close to deep water. You know, that seems like it's a big key, you know, having areas close to deep water. Uh, those ambush points, you know, rock piles, big points. Somewhere around that with that combination, you're gonna catch a lot of these fish. And what I like to do is I like to first find the structure. You know, let's say you have a big long tapering point with the rock pile on it. That's where I'm gonna throw this 10XD and try to keep it down in the strike zone. Uh, one thing that's very important is the line choice. You know, this is a Daiwa J fluoro. Uh, it's a fluorocarbon. This is actually a, uh, a 14 pound test, you know. The lighter line, the better for throwing a crankbait because you're gonna keep that bait in the strike zone. You know, the 10XD is one of my favorites, but if you're, you know, maybe on a shallower lake, you're gonna go to a 6XD, 8XD, but for me, the 10XD is gonna be a must have. But with all those, you want that lighter line to get that bait really down deep uh, and keep it in there. With as far as the bait goes, color wise, it's gotta be a big shad imitation. That's what I prefer something uh you know like the citrus shad or a sexy shad it just seems like you know they're they're going to be on those big shad a lot you know the, the craw colors work as well but i've always done better with the shad colors as far as the rod and reel you know that's going to be important as well you know this is a daiwa tattoo elite eight foot deep cranking rod you know you want that that seven and a half to an eight foot rod to really launch this bait out there parabolic action is going to be key that way when you hook these big fish you're not gonna throw the bait. And uh, the reel, I want something with a lot of power behind it. This is the new Daiwa Tatsuli Elite Reel, 6.3 gear ratio. You can cast this thing a country mile with this big bait. You're gonna have a lot of power, smooth drag on there. And last but not least, you know, you really wanna upgrade your hooks. You know, these are owner stinger hooks. Uh, with this 10XD, you're gonna go to something, you know, one, uh, maybe a one knot, something really big to grab a hold of those fish. You know, when I start my day off, throw on the crankbait, you know, let's say we catch a couple fish, I'm gonna turn around, fish those same areas, uh, but slow down, you know, and that's when I go to a big football headed jig. You know, this is a Strike King tour grade uh, football head jig. You know, this is a half ounce, but I'm gonna really throw that half to three quarter ounce. You know, again, if you're looking for that structure, I've seen at times of the day where they want that big chunk rock. Uh, maybe it's afternoon now, and uh, they move up on those clay points, something that's gonna trigger those fish. Again, they're gonna be eating big shad and they're gonna be eating big crawdads. You know, one tip I like to do in early winter is when I take this, this jig out of the package, I really like to trim the skirt as well. You know, I wanna make this jig a little bit more compact. Uh, it just, it seems like you're gonna get a lot more bites. And with the color, something very natural. You know, this is a peanut butter and jelly color. 
Uh, but I like those green pumpkin, the, that black and blue if the water's a little stained, or something like this peanut butter and jelly. As far as the trailer, you know, there's a lot of choices that are really, really good from Strike King, but I love this Strike King Rage Bug. And why? It's gonna give that bait a lot more float. And what I mean by that is, let's say you're fishing big chunk rock and this bait's gonna fall down. When you have a, a trailer with not much um, action to it, it's gonna bury itself in those rocks. You're gonna lose a lot more jigs. This is gonna kinda just float the bait over the top of the rocks. You know, you can see it's got a couple appendages up here, a couple legs, really, really good bait with that jig. Very fun way to fish. You know, as far as fishing the jig, there's two ways I like to fish it. One, cast it out there, drag it over structure, try to feel every rock down there. Uh, I like doing the drag, and then I also just like hopping the bait. But one thing that is very important, keeping this bait on the bottom, that is key. As far as a rod and reel goes, I like a little bit of a longer rod than, than most people throw. This is a 7.6 flipping rod, actually, but it's, it's, a, it's a really good action for this jig. Uh, Daiwa Tatsuli Elite, seven foot six inch rod, Ish Monroe design. And uh, that way, when I have a little bit longer of a rod and I make a really long cast, I can control this bait. And when I get that bite, I can pick up a lot of line really quick and make sure I set the hook properly and catch that fish. As far as the line, I'm gonna go with a 14 to a 16 pound uh, Daiwa J Fluoro, fluorocarbon, 100% fluorocarbon made in Japan, really sensitive line. If the water is very clear, I'll go down to, a, you know, possibly a 12 pound. And as far as the reel, you know, I like something with a high gear ratio. Where the crankbait's a low gear ratio, a high gear ratio is a, is a big key to me. This is a Daiwa Steez A uh, with the T-wing system in there, seven, one gear ratio. Perfect combo for catching some of those big wintertime uh, fish. You know, last but not least, I pretty much do, do not go anywhere with, without a drop shot, you know. And this is, again, this is a limit filler you know if you're struggling out there not catching fish you know you can always rely on a drop shot catch a lot of fish but one thing with early winter those fish are going to be deep they're going to be schooled up i'm always going to pay attention to my garmin echo map ultras and you're going to video game a lot of these fish so a lot of these fish you're going to see underneath the boat when you're casting a jig or the crankbait and i like to quickly reel those up drop this drop shot down you know, and again, when I see a fish underneath the boat on the graph, I know that fish is there. I know that fish is gonna be a lot easier to catch. You know, my drop shot setup is very, very simple. There's there's uh, really two rods I like to throw, but 90% of the time I'm throwing this Daiwa Tattoo Elite. It's a seven foot, four inch versatile rod that I designed, very sensitive. It's got the Daiwa AGS guides on there. This is a carbon fiber guide with a titanium insert. This thing, if a fish breathes on this drop shot, you're gonna feel this. Very, very sensitive. Uh, again, seven foot, four inch. You know, this is the real choice for me. This is Daiwa Exist, uh, 3000 size. You know, this picks up a lot of line really quick, but the drag is the best drag I've ever fished with my entire life. Very, very smooth. And uh, just, it's, it puts a lot of fish in the boat without losing them. You know, as far as the, the line goes, you know, this is a Daiwa, uh, J braid, you know, this is a 10 pound. You can see it's this chartreuse color on here. This is actually the X8. It's an eight strand weave braid. Uh, but why the chartreuse color? When I cast out there on a windy day, I want that bait to, to when it's sinking down, I want to know when it's going to hit the bottom. A lot of times I pay attention, I see those fish bite that bait on the fall, and I can use this as a strike indicator. The braid to the fluorocarbon, you know, the braid is extremely sensitive, there's, there's no stretch. Um, so you're gonna have a better hook set and a lot more sensitivity. And then of course, I'm gonna go to a four carbon leader. And typically with the drop shot, you know, I like a six to a 10 pound test. This is a Daiwa J Floro uh, leader here material. Really, really good stuff. You know, bait and the weight here with the hook. Again, very, very simple, but effective. You know, this is a little Strike King dream shot. When I'm throwing the drop shot, I want it to be very natural, natural colors. You know, you're you're trying to imitate those little shad or silver side or pond smelt, uh, whatever you're fishing, you know. So I, I like to keep it natural. You know, if the water's a little more stained, I'm gonna go to something like this brown and purple color, um, but just deadly. I always like to typically also Texas rig the bait. You know, this is a little uh, number one owner cover shot hook. You can see it's gonna be Texas rigged on there. It's got a little keeper. Uh, very, you know, sharp hook. This thing is deadly. 
But plus, when it's when it's te Texas rig like this, you can throw it in brush piles or rock piles. It's not gonna, you know, damper down the action. You're gonna get a lot of bites. That's typically my go-to setup. And the weight, you know, this is a Strike King tour grade tungsten, quarter ounce weight. I love the tungsten for a couple reasons. For one, I, I feel like it makes a different noise on the bottom, really attracts those fish over to the, to the bait and then they see the drop shot and they're gonna eat it. But also, you know, when you're fishing really slow in the winter time, you're gonna be dragging it across the bottom. That tungsten is gonna help you detect bites, but also rock piles and that structure on the bottom. As far as fishing this drop shot, guys, I like to do a couple things. You know, I like to vertically fish it where I drop down underneath the boat and shake the slack in the line. You know, I see a lot of guys hopping that drop shot up and down. I like to just shake the slack in the line, keep that weight on the bottom, give that bait maximum action. And also I like to cast this bait around. You know, I could cast it just like you're fishing a jig, you know, maybe make a long cast on a point, let the, the weight hit the bottom and slowly shake it back all the way to the boat. And you know, these fish, a lot of times you're not gonna actually feel them bite. It's gonna be more of a pressure bite. And all you need to do is reel down, kind of load into them. That owner cover shot hook's gonna sting them and you're gonna catch a lot more fish. So hopefully you guys enjoyed these tips. Again, this is something I've done for a lot of years. I put a lot of fish in the boat. Make sure you guys check out these great products.